So, uh, Mr. Delamarter, I just had you listen to our rendition of uh, original Sweet First Movement. Could you just share what you just told me? Right. So here are some of the things I heard. Um, there's some pitchiness and some wrong notes going on. And I wasn't looking at the score, so I can't say This is notes. like measure nine, the beginning opening part. Okay. I also um, heard phrasing was uh, mostly a result of running out of air as opposed to deliberate phrasing. As opposed to choosing to phrase in a certain way. Um, the tone on the, the higher clarinet parts was a little shrill. Um, uh, but the, the biggest thing I heard was that there, there's a, a, a sense of, of running out of energy and thinking of each phrase as an isolated thing as opposed to seeing it in the larger context of where you're shaping the overall. Great. Anything uh, redeemable about that that we should continue to keep doing? Well, I, I did. I like the balance. From what I heard, is that the balance of the, the melodic instruments versus the um, so the, the brass, the lower brass in the background, were a, it was a nice balance. Rhythm, you guys are great, right on the metronome, very punctual. And the other thing that was good is I heard a tenor line. I couldn't tell if it was a euphonium, but coming through a nice sustained line, which was going against the um, the breathlessness of the of the. The melody that was a nice through line that I heard just carrying cool. through, and it was that I was like, oh, that that's that's lovely. That that lyrical quality to that line carrying right. through. Right, more of that. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Delamar. Bye.